Hello everyone, this is Daniel with the Legacy of Daniel podcast. I come to you in this show and I'm speaking on you with an update on my writing journey. And my writing journey just becomes more exciting, not just my writing, but my journey of being a creator in both my podcast and gaming channel and becoming a, working towards becoming an author. And my writing um, today was, was well. I have a, another manuscript that I kind of brought together for a sequel to another novel that I'm currently working on. This, the novel, um, well, I'm actually, I'm not going to really discuss too much of the novel. I'm kind of keeping that one a secret, but this, the sequel, uh, the one I've talked about in a couple shows now, Call to Arms. And I'm just kind of working on whether or not it's going to be a short story or am I going to bring it more into a novel. So I'm kind of uh, kind of going back and forth on what to what to do with it. But ultimately, I'm just kind of waiting for my creativity to, to kind of, I guess, extinguish on the idea and just ultimately waiting to see uh, where everything plays out. I'm trying to really bring in a large universe of an idea. And so between... Uh, this manuscript and another manuscript that I have, I'm slowly bringing everything together, and it's not easy, and but it is uh, it is fun. I find it very enjoyable, and it really brings a creative side out of the individual, and it's just I'm finding it very enjoyable to share with the world, even though I may not be getting a lot of views. Hopefully, maybe one day, but I very um, become more confident in my writing and I'm writing more on a daily basis and what I've discovered and I'll kind of share a little secret is that you really have to one obviously have a good environment for your writing a place of quiet and not as many distractions that's always very very important everyone's going to have their own little things that they like and that that's fine but ultimately you really got to find a way to create a world where other writers can be a partaker of your writing and you can be a partaker of others writing. And that is what uh, YouTube does such a wonderful job of. You can partake in other people's uh, writing uh, or even gaming. I have a gaming channel. And so there's, there's a lot of intellectual property that can be um, exchanged back and forth in the sharing of ideas, sharing of stories. Uh, our lives can kind of uh, cross and we can exchange almost cultural values just through watching someone else uh, participate or go through their own journey on whatever it is that we may be interested in. For me, it's writing and I've discovered other channels out there and it, you know, hearing other people talk about their their journey in writing and writing stories is very helpful. So I'm going to very, I'm going to encourage everyone to build a, build a world on YouTube of people that you can follow that have like interest and see if, uh, see what helps kind of spur your creativity a little bit, help you get some projects done because it, it is helping me. And so today I, I wrote quite a bit today. Um, like I said, I'm up to about 2,500 words and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take what I have completed so far today and probably tomorrow, since it's getting a little late, I'm going to take this manuscript that I have of 2,500 words, and I'm going to build a, a map, start building a map out of it, not just uh, for this story, but for the entire universe and see how I could play it into the other novel that I um, have already written, <clears throat> uh, written a large part of. And so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be fun. I, I don't really, I've never done anything like this before, but mapping this out and seeing how the universe of this, this idea is coming together is is a whole lot of fun but in today's uh today's writing um i brought in kind of early you know i'm really developing this, the character of george um who is a 10 year old boy at the moment and i'm trying to introduce him uh, i think i may have mentioned this in the last show uh beauty and, and this and this this novel is going to be all about beauty preservation of beauty and protecting beauty and the importance of the importance of that and sowing seeds and having a legacy of beauty that others can follow along with, be a partake of, or just learn from so that they can continue on the struggle for what I'm calling destiny. 
and also in the in the in the novel or in the story, kind of kind of quickly, a quite dramatic event comes to comes to the planet, and so George's father has to be called because he's in a high position to take care of this very serious matter. And also on the Earth, there is the beginning of a political and social uh, ideological movement that is beginning to push the what's called the ancients who built the kind of really built the foundation of society and wrote the, the ancient texts that kind of outlined the importance of beauty, living by beauty and walking the path to destiny so that the great prophecy can be filled. That's all starting to be pushed out. And so I'm slowly starting to get into that, and I'm just really excited for it. I am um, still, you know, part of me just has a whole lot of words left in me. I sometimes feel like that just need to get out. But sometimes I have to wait, like, the next day to allow my creative uh, juice to be filled so that I can get it all out on, out on paper. And so that's what I'm doing at this moment. And uh, just kind of trying to share this, again, sharing this journey, sharing this uh, this wonderful, beautiful journey. And I'm hoping that maybe if there's any others that come to listen to this, that it can can help. And I, I'd i like to have uh, perhaps the first novel come to completion maybe this summer. I don't really have a deadline. I'm not, this, again, it's my first time, so I'm trying to just kind of just winging all of it <laughs> not really winging it but i'm i am enjoying it there's a lot of creativity involved which is a beautiful thing and uh yeah i think that's i'll finish it here um anyone that takes time to listen to this i thank you and uh if you are writing or working on any type of creative project i uh wish you the great creativity through your into your project and uh, may it be prosperous and beautiful